Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about B250 motherboards. We just got them. They arrived a couple days ago. We're going to be uh, taking a look at them. Showing you guys around. And going to be going over how to test them, make sure they're working. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage your crypto mining farm such as this one right here. It's a GPU farm being slowly built out. Or a Bitcoin mining farm. Go to CryptoLLC.org. So here's one of the B250s I unplugged. I'm not unplugged, I unwrapped it. Not unplugged. I unwrapped this B250 from that packer over there. So this B250 is what we use for basically all of our mining rigs. Here's a little setup we have here. This is for testing the rig itself. So we have a small little GPU here because sometimes the HDMIs are broken on these boards and so we have to use a dedicated GPU and then run it off the PCI Express slot to test if the uh, actual motherboard works. So they arrive in this condition. What we do is we check the condition they arrive in basically. We make sure that these pins are not bent. They look good. We make sure we don't see any damage on the board. Sometimes the pins arrive damaged. After that we plug in our RAM stick. I don't have one right now. But it will go into this slot. This slot you have to load. This first one right here, the one that's close to the CPU. You gotta load this slot, not the other one. So we plug in our RAM there. We use 16 gig RAM stick. Then we plug in our CPU. The CPU we use is an i7 7700. The reason why we use that is because it has multi-threading. Uh, the miner we use is G miner. And for some reason on these BC50 motherboards, the G miner is always using 100% of the CPU. So to counter that, because we used to run a um, single threaded processor, to counter that we switched over to the i7-7700 that has multi-thread. So we're going to use that to plug into this guy, make sure that G miner is running great. So you plug that guy in, you plug in your RAM, then we'll use our power supply here. Power supply, we're going to plug into A, A position. This is your motherboard. And then your CPU plug right here. This will then plug into this port here for your CPU. And then your PCI Express can plug into any of these ports. Well, actually not any, it has to plug into A section. So usually you just plug them right here. You boot up the motherboard. What you do is you update the BIOS, first thing you do. Once the BIOS is updated, then what you do is you go to the settings in BIOS and you set the power on mode. So on power loss, you want the motherboard to power back on. The reason why you want to do that is we use a reset system here where we can remotely reset a, uh, a rig without actually being there. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's our reset system here. It's just a regular switch. You see how it has a uh, yeah, glowing light right there? It's a power button. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi. So if we want to reset it, we use an application, we log in, and then we reset that whole entire rig by pressing that button. And then when you, when the rig is reset, you want the motherboard to power back on. So you got to make sure your power on is set in BIOS. And then we plug in the battery. Some of the motherboards do not come up for battery, depending on what country it's being shipped from. So that's how we test these boards. Now I got one over here, one over there, and we got more that came in. I'll show you. There's our two per uh, each wrapping right there. So it's two, four, six, eight, and then two over there, 10. So you got 10 BT50 motherboards. So that's how we test them all, make sure they're all working. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, you, you, get, you need a monitor obviously to test it. So get yourself an HDMI cable, plug it in there. Or if it doesn't work, you plug it directly into the card over here. The card also has an HDMI right there. It's got an HDMI, so we test it out, make sure it works. Um, otherwise, we don't need the motherboards right now, but we will we will need them eventually. And so you don't want to have a situation where motherboards arrived and then you only needed them two weeks later, but.
but now after two weeks one of them doesn't work and now it's kind of too late to do anything about it so we got to make sure that we test them when they arrive and we know that they work for sure all right so that's what we use here you can also do the same thing if you're running your own gpu farm you have to have uh, 240 volts uh, because you, you can't handle 14 gpus this motherboard does 14 gpus so if you're going to run 30, 80, 14 GPUs on this, you do need 200 plus volts to actually handle the amperage that's going to be loaded on the on the uh, copper. So to do that, you have to have two, 220, 240, and, and so on. You cannot do this on 120. It will not handle that many cards. All right, keep that in mind. You have to have 240 to run this B250 if you're going to run 14 cards. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. Like, subscribe with the bell. You're, look, you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm such as this one. This one is being built out. You can see a lot of empty racks here. But we will build it out in the next month or two. We'll be full. If you're interested in that, go to CryptoLLC.org and hit send an email. Send us an email. We'll get back to you. And if you're looking for ASIC mining, same thing, go to CryptoLLC.org. Check out the other videos of this channel. You'll find other ASIC mining videos there, ASIC information. So you get in touch uh, with, or actually get the feel of ASICs if that's something you're interested in. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.